Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh Welcome back to my channel This is me again, Miss Bintang How are you today, students? As you know, we have discussed some topics related to cover page of Tugas Akhir and your research concept in the previous meeting I also have received your chapter 1 so thank you for submitting and now let me see your work in this occasion I'd like to discuss one of yours so let's check this one out the background of study is a part of a research provided in the introduction section of the paper the background of study is a compilation of adequate information that is based on the analysis of the problem or proposed argument, the steps and the methods needed to arrive at the design and the implementation of the results achieved and feasible solution. It's different from the introduction. The introduction only contains the preliminary information about your research question or thesis topic and readers will be learning in your paper. Before going to further discussion, let's see one of the student's works. The title of this Tugas Akhir Wannabe is The Academic Achievement of Working Student, which has five paragraphs. Now, let's analyze this background of study. Paragraph 1 contains the explanations of your first variable of your title. In this paragraph, you should explain what your first variable of your title means. Now, let's see one of those students' work here. For example, your title is The Academic Achievement of Working Students. So, the first variable of your title is Academic Achievement. But you should remember that Tugas Akhir is a research paper. Therefore, we should provide theories to strengthen our opinions. Paragraph 2 contains the explanations of your second variable of your title. In this case, the second variable of this title is working student. Meanwhile, the paragraph 2 in this background of study is still about academic achievement. And that's no problem. You may discuss your first variable in more than one paragraph. Paragraph 3 should contain the problems found in your research place or research field. And here we still can get variable 1 which is no problem at all. But remember, when you find a theory besides English, you must translate it first into English to ease your readers. Paragraph 4 is a place for a previous study related to your study. You can integrate the previous study and your own study and also you can explain the correlation between the previous study and yours. The last but not least is paragraph 5 which contains the title of your Tugas Akhir. In this background of study from one of the students has explained its title but it's better to combine this paragraph with the previous paragraph. If you are not sure whether you can cope with the task and would like to know how it should be done, just let me know in the comment section below. One more thing that you should remember is, if you get tired, learn to rest, not to quit. That's all for today. Thank you for watching, have a nice day, and see you on the next video. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.